Hello guys, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be looking at the tier list again because a lot has changed. I'll say, Abyss Dweller, if you guys didn't know, it's a good card, and they printed it at Common for OTS 20. That and Darkwing Blast has made a pretty, an okay impact on the format, so, well, let's talk about it. Marincess. Bad. Look, the... Actually, like this deck, there's just nothing to do with this deck. Just don't, just don't. I'm pretty sure this gets hit by Abyss Dweller too, so just just don't play this deck. Uh, Tenny, in its current form, I don't think it's tier one. I'm gonna be honest. I think there are probably gonna be innovations on it that make that like re put it into tier one, uh, that like make it a lot more appealing and be able to play through Abyss Dweller. But Dweller really destroys the version of this deck we're playing right now. Um, like, if you were to take your, like, old 2021 10e build into uh, the Discord, just say, at testing, and find any game, usually, whenever you want, um, and just, like, sit there and, like, go up against, like, any rank 4 deck, they just go make Dweller, make another Interruption, and then you just kind of lose because there's nothing you can do after going monk. There, there are going to be ways eventually for you to play around Dweller, uh, but th this is just unfortunate. Two, Melfi. Unfortunately, uh, it did not see. I, I predicted this deck was going to be tier one point five, but its weakness to things like Dark Hole and Kaiju's, uh, and just going second um, in tools in general, um, have kind of made this deck it, it it's made this deck a little bit unfortunate to play i'll say next up paleo it's better than marincess but like it still doesn't have a payoff like why would you play this deck there's no reason to so it's just not good um, another thing I'm going to be start doing is putting decks that are just worse versions of other decks in the trash tier. Uh, why would you ever play Sioux Ship? It has, it's, um, payoffs are just not very good. Bang. Um, scrap. This deck got a new guy. Uh, Dweller is very good, and he, they get to play it free. So, you know, that's cool. Just give them another broken rank 4 Floodgate. Another Floodgate to add to the... Teak Boo goes in, I'm pretty sure they play now. Whatever. Sprite is like, unplayable. Stop trying. I tried. It didn't work. Um, feather, uh, f fucking, what is this? It's a uh, winged beast turbo. Uh, just like, you know, draw Feather Storm or lose. I don't know. It's, you know, it's Feather Storm trap trick. So it's like a six out of 40. That's like not terrible of a chance. But like, you end on Hressvalger Pass, which. Not good. Um, tier element, don't play it. It's bad. Um, a predator plants. I still maintain that as tier one. Uh, it doesn't really care about dweller, so nothing's really changed for it. Um, there have been some builds I was th like testing around and fiddling with of using all the new Rikas um, to make rank force, uh, and it's it's getting a little interesting. But um, you know, making sacred tree beast Hyperion the the uh, rank nine with a uh, Rikish Queen Strena, but it's gonna get, need to go through a little more testing. That's a uh, that's a private testing though. Uh, Fa, uh, I still don't think it's better than Melfi, but uh, uh, we got a couple people on the uh, on the Discord testing this deck out. I think it's fine. I don't I don't hate it, but Motorhome Pass is, like, what most of the hands do. And, like, it's decent on the crackback, but it's just, like, not as good as Luna White or Preta Plant or uh, even Tenny on the crackback. So it's it's a little hard to justify playing in a competitive sense. Um, uh, Layer of Darkness, um, in its many variants, honestly, I think it's a decent Tier 2 deck. Um, it's I'm just going to rank Grand Maju here, put it at Tier 3, um, because... Layer of Darkness, the version, is just a better version of this. Um, not super sure why you would play this over um, the uh, Layer of Darkness version, so we're putting it in Tier 3. And this deck is, is it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I, I, we're going to get some, like, uh, I think we're getting uh, in the Dark World structure deck, in, at least in the OCG, they reprinted um, one of the Lady of Laments. Uh, it's 
the good one. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can do something with that later. But for now, it's only okay. Next up, Luna Light. Look, is that good? Is that a hey, brother? Is that can make a Abyss Dweller? <laughs> Uh, this deck is never going to be bad. Uh, unfortunately, I guess for us, I, you know what? I'm going to put this here. I think it's a little better than the scrap. But I, luckily, our our drive our hero Breda Plant is unaffected. Really doesn't care at all about dwellers, so that's not something we have to be scared of. But Luna Light just beats all the rogue decks harder, <laughs> and it it improves the Tenny matchup a lot, uh, at least for now. Again. Tenny will likely be able to adapt and overcome uh, this weakness to Dweller, but right now it's in a tough position. Um, Morphtronic. It's, it's, again, look, Synchro Spam, very cool, very funny. Just play, just, just there's other ways to do it. That is not, how should I put this? Because this is a tough one. You can spam out boss monsters pretty easily with this deck, um, but you know they go like you go. Um, there, there are too many counters like crow, d d dimensional fissure. That's the wrong card. Uh, dimensional shifter is now a common because of the crystal beast structure deck. Hate that deck. Um, like, it, the worst part is that it brought D-Shifter, and Crystal Beast is still completely dog shit. <laughs> like, the deck is unplayable. <laughs> but it, it, it's 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 tough. I, I wish I, I wish it was a little bit better, but it just loses to all the graveyard hate that everyone's playing, including Dweller. Uh, Time Thief. Just play Scrap. Don't play just a bad version of Scrap in these two decks. Just play Scrap. Goki. Realistically, it's probably like here but i'm gonna put it like like here because it just loses to everything that the format is doing d fissure kills the deck a dweller kills the deck um any like graveyard hate obviously but also like uh kaijus lose uh, kill the deck um lava golem for all the stall strategies that kills the deck um more than two interruptions kill the deck so that's uh both Tenny and the well, not even Tenny. It's just that's the uh, Prada Plant. So it loses to Luna Light really hard because of Kaiju's and interruption. Uh, Prada Plant because of interruption. Uh, Scrap because of floodgates. Um, Tenny because of like floodgates interruption. Just everything. Melfi because of interruption. Fa because of uh, floodgates. Um, uh, it's fucking Morphtronic because of interruption. Layer of Darkness, Grand Maju stuff because of Floodgates. Um, it, you know, I, I guess it like beats out Grand Maju, like pure, but it, it kind of like takes on all the scrap decks except the rank four ones. But dang, it, it's just a tough situation for Goki. Like it just does not beat anything in the format. Uh, God, the problem is that no one is playing this deck because the magic key stuff is broken. Like, ending on, like, a bunch more interruption than they usually do. But, like, uh, no one's playing this deck. Like, there are, there are zero people who play this deck. I wonder if uh, Diamond Dude's eventually going to come back. He, 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 he still plays the format occasionally, but he hasn't he doesn't play Megalith, and he's, like, the only person who plays it. But, you know, I have no desire to play this deck, so <laughs> uh, I suppose it's on me, too. Hero. Hero's pretty good. Um, you can end on Dweller now, so you get to abuse that, but you also get to abuse, like, Dark Law. This is, like, the, the, this is the prime graveyard hate deck. You get to end on, like, Dark Law Dweller. There's no reason to, right? Because Dweller does Dark Law's job, and Dark Law does Dwellers. But, like, why not, right? Just to kill any graveyard decks, hope of success. Um, you can also do regular rank four, uh, plays, um, Excalibur gives, puts up pressure that a lot of decks can't really handle. Um... What you can play all the toolbox ones. Uh, you get to play a Shade Brigadine in any deck, which is good. Um, having consistent ways to get out to all your combos with Hero Lives and Stratos and all the other cards you get to play is good. Just you know, there th it's it's a it's a it's a good time playing Hero in this format. Burn another tier two deck, um, probably like here. Um, I, I wish again, we only really have one dedicated Burn pilot, maybe two. But they're, uh, it, 
they haven't topped any tournaments recently, but, you know, I feel like they're doing fine. Uh, Burn hasn't really changed at all, and it doesn't really have to. It's doing okay. DDD. Honestly? Sleeper. D- br- eh, probably here. Uh, you know, this deck actually, it was surprisingly decent going into uh, the most recent tournament. I heard it was like 5-1 in Swiss or something at one point. Um, per, I don't know if it topped or not. I don't think it did. I probably would have heard about it. But, um, you know, it's pretty decent. I, I'm very glad that uh, this deck got some representation of the tournaments. If you're the person who played this deck, hit me up. I do want to see your list because every time I play the deck, I get my ass beat. Cyber Dragon. Just play. It's an OTK deck. It's probably going to be the top of tier three. It just gatekeeps this along with Dynamist. These two decks just kind of gatekeep uh, this whole tier uh, from being any better, but they can't really like contest a lot of the decks in here because of like floodgates of like copious interruption. So yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting how like decks like this, like, like OTK decks that provide just enough protection to beat like bad decks, but not enough to contest any of the good decks is pretty interesting next up we got dragon eh it's fine uh making a a giant coach giant trainer and then drawing three cards has never felt has never felt worse i'm be honest uh making rank eights in a format where you can uh not do that is annoying and our rank eight pool is not that large so making like giant trainer and drawing three is about the best thing you can do. It's tough, but, you know, it is what it is. Fable. This is the Synchro Spam deck that is a little bit worse than Morphtronic. It's not un- worse enough than Morphtronic. I'll probably put it here. Okay, I'm going to be realistic. Goki is, prob- Goki is probably better than this and this and this. No. Eh. I'll just put it here. But... Yeah, F- Fabled is like a synchro spam deck. It's a little worse than this because it doesn't have as much access into link monsters as these this deck does. But uh, Fabled, it's it's never been it's it's never like terrible. So you can uh, Fiend Pile loses really hard to um, Abyss Dweller. So we're gonna put it here. Gyrgia, the rank four deck, but at least you get access to some different tools. Um, I'm just going to be kind of going through these like weird rogue decks kind of quickly. Um, uh, Gravekeeper, every rank four deck can do what this deck does with zero effort. Uh, pure machine stuff. Just don't, why? Come on, guys. It's it's not. Team, It's it, we don't have to play Earth Machine in every format. Um, uh, Pendulum is... It... It doesn't get hit that hard by Dweller, which is cool. Spellcaster, well, I'll, 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 I think Pendulum's actually good, so we'll talk about it a little bit more. Uh, Pendulum is an interesting deck. Uh, it got a couple more cards, but nothing super interesting. I wonder how they're going to be treated with those uh, Draco Slayer. No, no, those were in Dapple and all high rarity. So that's that's a tough situation. Um, they got the new Spirit uh, Pendulum monsters, which cool, but I assume... I, I assume that, hmm, I guess, the, I'm going to be honest, this deck has not changed. Uh, the, I, I, I'm trying to think of something like new and cool this deck got, but it it's just, uh, it's Pendulum. You, you can see it anywhere. Spellcaster, uh, Spellcaster Turbo, uh, just, put, this is the pile deck. I'll put it like here, it beats... It's a floodgate deck, so it'll beat a lot of decks. It'll beat a lot of rogue. <sighs> this hurts. <laughs> this, this hurts. It's better than this, probably. Probably better than Pendulum. I'll put it here. This Trickstar like stage means Trickstar stun. And god damn it, that deck has won two high profile tournaments. How to stun keep doing it we need to find a way we we need to just side deck better just as a community psa make better side decks 
It's it's wild that we keep losing to stun. We can't keep doing it. It's we can't keep losing to stun. Just make better side decks. UA. Another deck gate kept by the OTK gods. Symphonic Warrior. Another rogue deck gate kept. Uh, this is an OTK deck that is worse than Cyber Dragon, and this is a synchro spam deck that's worse than a uh, uh, Morphtronic. Yo, Senju, just play a better Kaiju deck. Um, zombie is fine. Uh, just uh, zom zombies like okay. Just you, there are other decks that kind of like do its job that with a lot of recursion. B Trooper, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, uh, probably about here. I thought it was going to be a little better than it was, but uh, Dweller kind of hurts this deck a lot, and so does D Fisher. Uh, sorry, D Shifter, and uh, so does a lot of other things. I, I hope that eventually we can make a we can we can make a better deck out of this. Um, maybe D Shifter will get banned next uh, ban list because you know how Konami likes to hit things a year after they were good. Skull Servant, still the best build of Zombie, but still a worse OTK deck than these two. And now we get to the new decks. Naturia is like, okay, it's it's fine. I, it, look, I'm not super impressed by it, uh, but you know how it is. It, it, it summons the, it, it's like the, it's it's another one of the uh, combo decks that summons the big floodgate, but then it does that, and then when you like kaiju the big floodgate, you they lose. It you know it happens. Also, they can't beat big bodies. Bang Blackwing deck's terrible. Bang Amazonas actually a new interesting deck. I'm gonna put it. It's kind of like a worse version of DDD, so I'm gonna put it right below DDD. Um, it, it just summons, it fusion summons a bunch of big beat sticks, which I think is interesting, but not, God, if Amazonus Kaiserin said, just makes all the Amazonus untargetable instead of makes all the Amazonus except her untargetable, this deck would be busted. But unfortunately it is, it, the, those are not the words that are said on the card. So the deck is not busted. Yeah. And finally, Ninja. Eh, it's probably about here. It, eh, no, well, it's actually probably worse than this. It's probably better than this. This is probably worse than this. It's probably right here. It's like a rank four deck, almost, but you also get to like, like Super Transformation to send two into Albaz. Albaz fuse away your opponent's guy. It is like, okay. But I, I wish that we had a better super transformation target than Albaz. Because if we had like a real boss monster for the deck, it'd be cool. I'm not I'm, I'm not saying it's necessary, but it'd be cool. Alright. I think this is a pretty comprehensive tier list. We got as a bet the best deck is Lunalite. Tier one consists of Predaplant and um Scrap and then Tenyi. Uh, light stage, um, pendulum, and hero cons is the 1.5. All the cool rogue decks that I love are in tier two, and then tier three is filled with some of the middling rogue decks that, like you, that probably won't top a tournament, but it could if you tried hard enough. And then the trash decks are here. I need to talk about Blackwing a little bit. I noticed I never did that. Uh, this deck is just bad because we didn't get enough dabble reprints. That's that's kind of it. I we don't have a boss monster or a reason to play the deck yet. That's going to be it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed, please comment. I don't know, subscribe or something. Join the Discord. That's probably the best. Just, jo just join the Discord. Just do that. Play a game with me. Play a game with me. I need to test more. Play a game with me.